हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एग्जांपल 5.5 फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर 5 ऑफ द हीट इंजन साइकिल अपलाइड थर्मोडायनामिक्स बाय डी स्टार्ट एंड वी कंटिन्यू एग्जांपल 5.5 इज बेस्ड ऑन डीजल इंजन cycle this example problem is basically based on diesel cycle a diesel engine has an inlet temperature and pressure of 15 degree c and 1 bar respectively the compression ratio is 12 by 1 and the maximum cycle temperature is 1100 degree centigrade calculate the air standard thermal efficiency based on the diesel cycle i am going to write the given data in this statement initial temperature and pressure t1 is 15 degree centigrade and if we want to convert it to kelvin it will become 288 kilo also pressure is t1 and it is 1 bar compression ratio rv is 12 by 1 and it is basically v1 by v2 similarly the temperature maximum cycle temperature is 1100 degree centigrade so this is actually the degree temperature lies on state 3 temperature corresponding to state 3 is the maximum temperature in the cycle and it is 1100 degree centigrade so further if we add 273 with this we will get 1373 kelvin also we are required to find the standard air standard thermal efficiency that is theta in this problem first of all to discuss the example solution let's briefly describe the diesel cycle here are four processes involved in diesel cycle this is the diesel cycle on pressure volume diagram pv diagram from state 1 to state 2 this is the isentropic compression 2 to 3 is the constant pressure heat addition or heat supplied 3 to 4 is the isentropic expansion and 4 to 1 is the isochoric or constant volume cooling these are the four processes which are involved in the diesel cycle now we are interested to find the thermal efficiency for that we will use the expression eta net heat of the cycle divided by heat supplied let represent it with q1 this is the net heat supplied our net heat of the cycle and this is the heat supplied so to find the net heat of the cycle or heat supplied we need temperature values in this cycle here are few temperatures which are given to us t1 is given t3 is given 
but some temperatures are unknown. So first of all, we will find those missing temperatures in this cycle. So to find the temperature T2, we use the expression T2 by T1 is equal to E1 by V2 power gamma minus 1. This expression is derived in equation 3.20 in chapter number 3 of this book. V1 by V2 is basically the compression ratio and it is 12. So T2 by T1 is equal to 12 power gamma minus 1. The value of gamma is 1.4 for air. So when we put 1.4 in this, we get 12 power 0.4. So the ratio of T2 and T1 is 2.7. Now to find the G2 we will multiply T1 with this so it becomes 778K1 so this is the value of T2. Now further to find the value of T4 temperature for that we need some other expressions and relationships by which we finally find the T4 temperature. So at constant pressure from 2 to 3 using the ideal gas equation Tv is equal to Rt, then we have a relationship that is T3 by T2 is equal to V3 by V2. This is expression is basically developed from, from using this ideal gas equation. So we know about T3 and T2. So V3 by V2 is equal to T3 is given 1373 and T2 is calculated. So dividing this we get 1.765. Further to find the ratio V4 by V3 as it is needed to find T4. So V4 by V3 is equal to V4 by V2 into V2 by V3. So we can also write this expression like this V1 by V2 into V2 by V3. So now we know about these values. V1 by V2 is given, it is 12 and V2 by V3 is basically 1 verse 1.765. We have calculated above the value of V3 by V2 previously in this over here. This is basically V3 by V2. So when we are writing it like this, V2 by V3, so this is the reciprocal of 1.765. So simplifying this, we get 6.8. Now further to find the value of temperature T4 for that, using again the relationship in equation 3.20. So using this compression ratio V4 by V3, it is 6.8. Again, it is similar to the above step for finding temperature T2. So the ratio value T3 by T4 comes out 2.153. Simplifying this, we get the value of T4, which is 6.38 kilowatt. Now we have found all values of temperatures now it's very easy to find the heat supplied heat supplied per kilogram of air is basically equal to cp into t3 minus t2 we have discussed that in the diesel cycle above mentioned from 2 to 3 is basically the heat supplied at constant pressure so Finding this value, it will become Cp into T3 minus T2. Cp has value 1.005 kilojoule per kilogram per kilowatt. 
T3 is 1373, T2 is 778. So, this is the final value of heat supplied 598 kilojoule per kilogram. Also, to find the heat rejection during cooling, the formula for that is this is again Q. This is the heat basically rejected in the isochoric or constant volume cooling. It is equal to Cv into T4 minus T1. The value of Cv constant specific heat specific heat capacity at constant volume. For air it is 0.718 kilojoule per kilogram per kilogram. T4 is 638 is calculated above and T1 is 288 So simplifying this we get 251 kilojoule per kilogram. So now using the formula of isothermal efficiency for diesel cycle, this is the net heat of the cycle and this is the heat supply. So net heat will be found from the difference of these two heats, one is Q1 and other is Q. So we can write it like this Q1 minus Q over Q1. So putting the values Q1 is 598 kilojoule per kilogram, Q is 251 kilojoule per kilogram and again Q1 is 598. So when we simplify this we get 0.58 and in percent we get 58 percent. So this is the value of thermal efficiency for this specific example for the given diesel engine. Thank you.